project codenamed PAC-DP, or Prospective Air Complex for Long Range Interception. Unofficial name, MiG-41. The Mikoyan MiG-41 has been making headlines again lately. If you dig into Russian reports, you might hear claims that Russia is on the brink of completing this revolutionary aircraft. A next-generation stealth interceptor and heavy fighter, touted as a sixth-generation project. But what do we really know about this new Russia's aircraft? And can it actually be realized? So far, the only certainty is that it will replace the aging MiG-31. Beyond that, details remain tightly under wraps. To understand the significance of the MiG-41, we first need to understand why the iconic MiG-31 needs a successor. The MiG-31 Foxhound holds a prominent place in Russian aerospace history. Developed during the Cold War, it was introduced in the early 1980s as a successor to the MiG-25. It was designed as a long-range interceptor, capable of defending the vast Soviet airspace from potential intruders, particularly high-speed aircraft and cruise missiles. Known for its impressive speed, reaching up to Mach 283, and its ability to operate at high altitudes, this aircraft quickly became a key asset of the Soviet and later Russian air defense. One of its key features was its advanced radar system, the Zaslan S-800, which was the world's first passive electronically scanned array radar. This technology allowed the MiG-31 to track multiple targets simultaneously and engage them with long-range missiles, providing a significant strategic advantage. The aircraft could carry R-33 and R-37 long-range air-to-air missiles, making it a powerful tool for intercepting enemy bombers and reconnaissance planes far from Russian borders. However, despite its strengths, the MiG-31 has limitations that have become more apparent over time. Its large radar cross-section and lack of stealth capabilities make it vulnerable to detection by modern radar systems. Additionally, while it was cutting edge in the 1980s, its avionics and electronics have aged, requiring extensive modernization to remain effective against newer threats. The airframe itself, although robust, was not designed with the longevity seen in some Western aircraft, necessitating frequent updates and overhauls. Production of the MiG-31 ceased 30 years ago, and the manufacture of its engines has also stopped, with reserves rapidly dwindling. This decline in production capability and parts availability presents significant challenges for maintaining the current fleet, making the transition to a new platform increasingly urgent. As the MiG-31 approaches the end of its service life by the early 2030s, Russia aims to introduce a new aircraft, the MiG-41. As of now, the MiG-41 remains more conceptual than actual, with much of the project still shrouded in secrecy. The project is highly classified, and specific details about the aircraft's design and technological innovations are speculative and based on available reports. Despite this, scattered information from Russian sources throughout the years shed light on the MiG-41's intended capabilities. While precise information is lacking, the aircraft appears promising on paper. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. Let's look at some of its possible advancements. First, one of its most impressive features is its expected speed. The aircraft is designed to achieve speeds exceeding Mach 4, making it one of the fastest military jets in existence. Some reports even suggest it could reach up to Mach 5, allowing it to intercept and engage a wide range of aerial threats swiftly and effectively. This incredible speed is anticipated to be achieved through advanced engine technology, which has been the subject of much speculation and debate. There are several theories about the type of engine that will power the MiG-41. One of the most discussed possibilities is the use of a pulse detonation engine. This type of engine operates by detonating fuel and air mixtures at supersonic speeds, creating a series of shock waves that propel the aircraft forward. Beyond speed, this type of engine could also enhance fuel efficiency. In terms of altitude, the MiG-41 is supposed to be designed to operate at extremely high levels, potentially reaching near-space environments. Ilya Tarasenko, the general director of the MiG Corporation, as well as the head of the Sukhoi company, mentioned in a July 2020 interview that the PAKDP would be capable of operating at very high altitudes, potentially between the tropopause, approximately 39,000 feet, and the stratopause, approximately 148,000 feet. This capability allows the MiG-41 to monitor and defend vast airspaces, intercepting high-altitude targets that are beyond the reach of most current aircraft. Stealth will also be a critical aspect of the MiG-41's design, 
Unlike its predecessor, the MiG-31, which has a large radar cross-section, the MiG-41 will incorporate advanced stealth features. Probably, these include an internal weapons bay to reduce radar signature and the use of radar-absorbent materials. Speaking about weapons, the MiG-41 could potentially launch hypersonic missiles. These missiles, traveling at speeds greater than Mach 5, are difficult to intercept and can effectively engage high-priority targets such as enemy aircraft, ships, and ground installations. In addition, it could feature an innovative multi-purpose interceptor missile system specifically designed to neutralize hypersonic threats, an increasingly important capability in an era of hypersonic weapon development. Furthermore, the MiG-41 is anticipated to have anti-satellite capabilities. This means it could be equipped with missiles designed to target and destroy enemy satellites, potentially disrupting communication and surveillance networks. However, one the most disruptive element in Russia's aerial arsenal could be the rumored development of an electromagnetic pulse, EMP gun. This weapon could revolutionize aerial combat by using bursts of electromagnetic energy to disable electronic systems in enemy aircraft, missiles, and ground targets. The ability to disrupt or destroy electronic components without physical damage presents a new strategic capability that could neutralize advanced enemy systems before they become a threat. But let's be clear, while these advanced technologies sound exciting and promising, they come with significant challenges. The pulse detonation engine, for example, must overcome significant engineering hurdles. Sustaining continuous detonation in a controlled manner requires precise timing and robust materials that can withstand extreme temperatures and pressures. The dynamic loads on the engine components also pose durability issues that need to be resolved to ensure long-term operational reliability. Similarly, the EMP gun involves complex technological challenges. Generating and focusing high-intensity electromagnetic pulses requires advanced power generation and storage systems. Additionally, ensuring that the EMP does not affect the MiG-41's own electronic systems demands sophisticated shielding and countermeasures. In January 2021, Rostec Corporation, the owner of Mikoyan, announced that the PAKDP had entered the development phase. This marked a significant step forward in the evolution of the MiG-41, transitioning from theoretical design to practical engineering and production. The goal is for the aircraft to make its first flight in 2025, should the designers and engineers from McCoy and OKB meet their ambitious targets. If these tests are successful, the MiG-41 is expected to become fully operational by the early 2030s. However, the path to bringing it to fruition is fraught with logistical and financial challenges. The development of such a technologically advanced aircraft requires substantial investment, both in terms of money and resources. Russia's aerospace sector has been stretched thin by various other projects, including the development of the Su-57 stealth fighter and the modernization of its bomber fleet. This has led to concerns about whether there are sufficient funds and industrial capacity to support the MiG-41 project adequately. Financial constraints are compounded by the current geopolitical climate, particularly Russia's military engagements. These activities have strained the country's budget potentially diverting funds from long-term projects like the MiG-41. Additionally, the development of cutting-edge technologies such as the pulse detonation engine and EMP gun requires significant research and development expenditure, further escalating costs. Despite these challenges, the Russian aerospace sector remains committed to the MiG-41 project. So, we'll have to wait and see if Russia can stick to the projected schedule or if their announcement is more propaganda than reality.